Billy buys a $2,400 CD, which is a certificate of deposit. Uh, kind of like a savings account, but generally they have better interest rates. Not always, but generally. Um, and that earns 2.6% interest. How much will the CD be worth in eight years if? We're going to do it three ways. If the interest is compounded quarterly, monthly, or daily. And um, CDs, the interest rates generally uh, depend on how long you keep your money in. So like I have a CD, I have two of them actually. One of them that's six months. Um, because if you take it out early, you get penalized, right? They take away like part of your interest. So I have one that's six months for easy access in case I need that money. And then I have another one that's like two years. So um, if, you, if you're if you willing to give it to the bank for a longer time, um, you generally get a higher interest rate because they have more time, you know, to invest your money. Whatever, right? So that's that's kind of CDs in a nutshell. So, let's start with this. Compounding quarterly. Well, remember, if we're compounding quarterly, we're using our compounding interest formula. So, our balance is, and we start with our principal. So, okay, so let's just formula real quick. Principal, 1 plus the rate divided by how many times you're compounding, raised to how many times you're compounding, times the number of years. So, in our case, balance equals the principal is 2400 because that's how much we're starting with. Inside my parentheses, 1 plus the rate. The rate is 2.6%, so that's 0 0.026. How many times am I compounding? Well, quarterly means 4. Why is my 4? There we go. So I divide it by 4, and then in the, new, or the exponent, I have 4 times a year for 8 years. Now, your calculator may or may not be able to handle this. You might have to put that in parentheses. I think an easier way is to go ahead and take 4 times 8, which is 32. Um, if you plug this into your calculator, you're probably golden. So uh, I always do my exponent first before I plug it into my calculator. And you will see that if uh, we compound quarterly for 8 years, our balance will be $2,952.00. And 92 cents. So, you know, rough $552.92, approximately what we're earning in interest. All right, let's go to monthly. Now, the formula doesn't change, it's just one number within our formula. So we're still starting with 2400, one plus the rate, but now we're talking about monthly. So we're dividing by 12. And then I have 12 times 8 for my exponent. Because the only thing that changed was how many times a year I was compounding. Again, <coughs> excuse me, I recommend multiplying your exponent. So 12 times 8 is 96. Um, and then you can plug that whole greenery into your calculator. And if you compound monthly, you end up with... $2,954.25. So you can see the difference. It's not huge, you know, dollar and a half-ish, not quite a dollar and a half, but it's a little bit more. The more you compound, the more interest you're going to earn, right, the more often. So if we went from quarterly to monthly and it went up, right, our amount went up. If we go from monthly to daily, our value should go up even more, right, because instead of just doing it 12 times a year, daily is 365 times a year. So, balance. We're still starting with 2400. 1 plus is 0 0.026 divided by 365, and then we're going to raise that to the 365 times 8 power. Um, just like I did with the other ones, I'm going to take that exponent and I'm going to multiply those two together first before I plug it into my calculator. And uh, 365 times 8 is 2920. And then when I plug that into my calculator, my ending balance is $2,954.89. So that's only, I don't know, what, 64 cents more than compounding monthly. Um, but, you know, depending on how much you start with and that kind of thing, how long you keep it in, uh, those 64 cents can add up. So um, there's using your compound interest formula.